Oh my gosh, Joey. Where are you putting these? If you were to use a harmony to describe your relationship status, what would it be? Mine would be the sixth sense, because by the time we get hot and heavy, she'll come to her senses and leave. <laughs> I like that one. I very much do like that one. By the time we get hot and heavy, she'll come to her senses and leave. <laughs> That's really good, man. Because by the time we get hot and heavy, she'll come to her senses and leave. Yikes. Feels bad, man. Feels real bad, man. I'm gonna not even say one myself because that's good enough for both of us. Thanks, bud. I'm sure I'm sure you're a fine looking fella and the bitches are probably all over you. Don't worry, man. Don't worry about it. If I were to name a sex move after a horror movie, what would it be? Mine would be the sixth sense because by the time we get hot and heavy, she'll come to her senses and leave. I don't know, dude. I don't know. That's a that's a difficult question. Uh gone. Missing. That's 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 the words I'd use, Joey Retro. I couldn't give you a good one. I haven't watched a horror movie in probably fifteen years. Go to blue alert. What for? There's no one too alert. We're all here. I would just feel more comfortable if I know that we're all on our toes because everyone's aware it's a blue alert situation. We all are on our toes. May I remind you of Space Corps Directive 34124? 34124. No officer with false teeth should attempt oral sex in zero gravity. <laughs> Damn you both, all the way to Hades. I want to go to blue alert. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bit of professionalism. If you were to get hot and heavy with a horror movie villain, who would it be? Mine would be Michael Myers from Halloween, because you know he'll yeah, wear a sorry. rubber to cover his head and stab you in the right place. It's no problem. I think I will manage the villain. Yep, that. Yeah, that was good. That. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Mine would be. Mm, did you really have to pick Michael Myers from Halloween? Because you know he'll wear a rubber to cover his head and stab you in the right place. I like it. I, I really hate Michael Myers, but I like it too. Stab you in the right place. <laughs> you guys are terrible. <laughs> if you were to name a sex move after a horror movie, what would it be? Yours would be the Silence of the Lambs because afterwards it's awkward for both the lamb and I. Oh my god! That's bestiality! <laughs> That's illegal! <laughs> in some states. Like, were you in the lamb having sex? Like, I'm confused. <laughs> it's awkward for both the lamb and I. Oh my god. <laughs> That's everything. It becomes over for both the lamb and I. Oh my god. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's that's actually pretty good. Mine would be the silence of lambs because afterwards it's awkward for both the lamb and I. <laughs> what? <laughs> a horror movie. The Shiny? I don't know. I don't know. That's actually a really bad joke. Not the Shiny. Step up to red alert. Sir, are you absolutely sure? It does mean changing the bulb. <laughs> There's always some excuse, isn't there? It says, if you were to have sex with a horror movie villain, who would it be? Mine would be Pennywise, the clown from It. If you were having sex with a horror movie villain, who would it be? Mine would be Pennywise, the clown from it. If you were to have sex with a horror movie villain, who would it be? Mine would be Pennywise the Clown from It. Because I bet he gives the best cream pies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> because I bet he gives the best cream That's disgusting! <laughs> because he gives the best cream pies. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I can't really answer it because I don't watch many horror movies. Oh my gosh, you know what? Get your winky face out of here. <laughs> don't, don't. 